Bizarre. She ran outside on the balcony and closed the door and called the owner. We didn't know what she was doing. We just thought she was whatever. She came in there. She's like, my boss wants to talk to you. This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. Good morning. Good morning. You doing well today? Absolutely, man. I've got a I've got a three bedroom at Perdido Sky. It's a nice unit for four ninety nine. I mean, it needs paint and stuff. I mean, it's kind of weird colors, but the layout. I mean, it's a it's a big unit. I mean, it's got a wide living room, and it, it's you know, it's a good it's a good unique kind of unit. So that's for 400. Uh, you think that's 1500 square feet? 1400? That uh, that pretty dope sky? Yeah. Let me tell you. 1932. Whoa, that's a big one. Well, that's what I was telling you, man. It's a big. Now, pretty dope sky is not the one that's got a bunch of one bedrooms and a couple of threes. Yeah, exactly. Okay, those threes are real big. Yeah. But they join in over a thousand a month. It's eleven hundred. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Not eleven hundred. Let's see. It's uh it's eleven six forty divided by twelve. Nine seventy. Yeah. But you know you you know, it comes down, you know, you you got your insurance and utilities and stuff figured in there. So it comes down to square footage. I mean, you, you get a bigger, right. you get a bigger square footage unit, you're going to pay a little more on your dues because it's covering more, you know, it's covering a bigger unit. I'll, I'll see what I can do to kind of stir the pod up over there at Shipwatch, see if I can't come up with a three bedroom in the next week or so. Okay. All right. And this time. If, uh, if he needs anything or whatever, feel, tell him feel free to call me if he has any questions or anything I can do to help him. I'll do, I'll do that. Thank All right. you. All right, man. All right. Bye. Bye. You got somebody who wants to be an agent coming in to show me? Yeah, he's actually a client. He bought a condo from me. Nice, nice to meet you. Yeah, absolutely. Nice to meet you. Be careful. Y'all have fun. Nice to meet you. Yeah, absolutely. Big for coffee. Appreciate it, man. How are you, bro? I am. Um, 48. Okay. <laughs> right. Let's say, man. You sure. don't look 48, bro. <laughs> yep. I've been doing it since, uh, been in real estate since 2003, full time. Okay. So you went through the crash and all that? You kept survived. Yep. Stayed at. How'd you do it? How'd you survive through the crash? Did you ever get out of the business at all? Stayed in the business. How'd you do yep. it? I prayed a lot. <laughs> Lord, how are we going to pay the mortgage payment this month? <laughs> and then, uh, and then uh, somebody would call and say, hey, I got a cash deal. Can we close next Tuesday? That would work. Thank you, Jesus. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Amen. Just watching you and, and seeing what you're teaching, and we've been doing it a long time. Yeah. Just building that relationship. Mm -hmm. That's uh, another thing with prayer. My, my business changed when I, when I started tithing on the gross. Right, right. I just made a, a total transition. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I just want to check check it out. Do you have a um like a, a daily routine? You come in and run emails in the morning Same and make phone yeah. calls. Yeah. Um, I mean, I get up early and work out, work and all that, and um, get here and I go through my notes. Mm -hmm. You know, I take notes on everything that's going on. I have a schedule book, and then uh, go through my emails and stuff, and then just start hammering out, you know, all the stuff. And then I got stuff to go shake, and then appointments or whatever you know when do you make time to make those uh those new new phone calls i don't make so a lot of them you don't do a lot of them yeah as far as you know you on coaching you're you're making those i'm making those, those basically just for the videos right yeah just during those time yeah 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 that's my problem I'm I'm too busy. Time, i don't have time to, to make well, them busy calls. selling then great right. Yeah, you know that's the thing. You make phone calls, so you can't right. make. So you're so busy, you can't make phone calls anymore. Right. You know. Right. But if the market slows down, I'll. I'll you make, gotta get back I'll at it. Make phone right. calls. Right. Yeah. I'll stay drink. busy. If it starts to slow down, I'll just stay busy <coughs> making calls. You know. So those listings create phone calls, so they're calling you. you get your kind sign, of go. sign on the road. Kind of go. How many? What's the days on the market of your longest listing? Um, I mean, there's some that are overpriced that are. 1500 days. So. Right, yeah. right. See, that's how we do it too. Right. We love to sit there till they sell. All right. So that's that's how you can build any tour, you know. I do a lot of splits too. It takes like a 40 acre track, splits it up into four right. tens. Right, right, so right. So you have a, well, two listings out of that. A 10 out of four. Mm -hmm. So, or a 20 maybe. 
I mean, have a different buyer looking for a 20 or 30. So right. yeah, four different price points for one list. Yeah. I mean, we've so got all we've got sea pines. We have another 40 units or so we're going to build there. We're halfway through it. And then we got raw pumps coming. That'll be 100 more units. Then we're working on this uh, one on the lagoon. It'll be eight more units on the water, go shores, and we got a 22 house development on Canada 4. That'll, uh, you know, that'll be four hundred thousand dollar homes. So, you know, I got a pretty heavy hitter that's building a lot of houses. You know, that we're buying stuff. Mm -hmm. He's developing. He wants to build a thousand homes. You know, mm -hmm. down here in Baldwin County. Right. It's moving. Well, yeah, there's a, lot of, a lot of building in there. Mm -hmm. But those condos, they're a million dollars in turquoise. Wow. They started with a million. Go up. Me and Play got kicked out of one of the condos a couple weeks ago. You know, cutting up? When you went to see Chad's? Yeah. What happened? Oh, uh, it was hilarious. We went in there and there was a cleaner in there, you know, and it, went, it was dirty. Mm -hmm. and so we were, we just walked in and stuff and she's like, oh, hey, you know, and I was like, hey, how you doing? She's like, oh, I was like, I'm just an agent. She's like, oh, okay. I was like, we're just going to do a little filming. She's like, all right, you know. And then so I got on the phone and had a phone call and Blake started kind of filming stuff. Next thing we know, that lady ran outside and got on the phone. What'd she do? She just called like the owner. And was she like, ran outside on the balcony and closed the door and called the owner. We didn't know what she was doing. We just thought she was whatever. She came in there and she's like, my boss wants to talk to you. I was I like, I set all this up. You need to talk. I was like, yeah. you need to talk to Chad. Yeah. And I set all this up, so. You need to talk to him about it. But it was funny because uh, Blake got it all on film. He got her reaction and everything. When I was talking to the boss and, and I said something like, we're not gonna, uh, we're, we wouldn't film if it was dirty or something like that. And the lady, uh, she was like going like this and or I something. Put into all the stuff that was like dirty. And I was like that. Like... And we got her all, we got her on film. So now instead of the video being called 3.5 million dollar condo is going to be called getting kicked out of a 3.5 million dollar condo. <laughs> I can't wait to see that. It's going to be good. What up? Look who I got with me. Hey, the hey. number six real estate agent for Remax in the state of Florida out of Crestview. Right. Brett. Yes, sir. Wow. There's some heavy hitters in Florida. And Blake just had a, almost had a baby last night. It happens. It happens. <laughs> Look at Christy. Look at her. Just crush that at <laughs>
you know, he's from Mississippi, he's an agent in Mississippi. He bought like a half a million dollar house, probably it was worth 750, I guess, when he sold it or something like that. And, uh, and um, you know, he sold it without me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And like, the thing is, is, is if I would have done a better job of talking to him, I was staying in closer touch or hitting more frequently, you know, and I probably would have done that deal. You know, but it's like I've got thousands of clients. How do you call them? All? See what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just, it's just like it's it's just so there's so much like you you know I could work 24 hours a day right. and never even scratch the surface. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For how many deals I could put together? You know, it's all about how many how much time you want to put into. You know, it's crazy. <laughs>